So this is hornbeam, uh, Carpinus betulus, and this is a species which is often confused with and mistaken for beech. Now, the differences between hornbeam and beech are actually quite clear once you, once you get used to them and once you become familiar with them. First thing is the leaf shape um, and profile. If we look at the edge of the hornbeam leaf, it's serrated, it's cut, um, rather than the wavy, flat edge that you have on uh, a beech leaf. If you also look at the sort of overall uh, texture and shape of the, of the hornbeam leaf, it's got a distinct corrugated surface. You can actually feel that as you run, run your uh, fingers and thumb over it. It's corrugated. Um, so it's got this serrated edge and a corrugated uh, texture to it, whereas the beech has a flat, wavy edge and uh, has a, um, uh, a smooth, flat texture to it. It's also a thicker leaf overall. So the leaves are quite different. And if I just expose a few of the buds on the hornbeam here, you see another fundamental difference. Now, these are the hornbeam buds, alternate buds, but look how short and close to the stem these, these buds are, are held. With the beech, remember, they were sharp, um, spur-like uh, buds held at a very wide angle to the stem. On hornbeam, they're short, they're fat, and they're kept very close to the stem. So the leaf and the bud arrangement is a really straightforward way of telling uh, hornbeam from beech. So there's our beech buds with their sharp uh, pointed um, structure held at a wide angle and there's our hornbeam buds held close to the stem much shorter much tighter. In terms of timber properties uh, hornbeam is quite similar to beech but it's harder and denser it's heavier if you have a uh, a cube, if you have a slab of, of hornbeam, same size as a slab of beech, the hornbeam is going to be denser and heavier. Uh, traditionally, hornbeam was used for gear wheels, things that took a lot of um, pressure and a lot of load. Um, less of it about, you'll probably find it on heavy soils, clays, those sort of things, particularly in the southeast of England. Whereas the beech tends to be associated with lighter soils, uh, whether it's limestone or sandstone derived soils.